What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this comparison table right here. It does work on every theme and I will show you in a couple easy steps how you can get it for your very own store. It is fully customizable, all the text and content is customizable as well and this little side text and the button are also some things you can add to this. I'd say we just jump right into it. The first thing I did for it was headed on over to the Shopify app store where I got the section store app completely for free. It's a component library with over 200 fully customizable components. And this is the overview of all components which are in there, but we're gonna look for a really specific one today. The comparison table. We do already have two other ones, this and this one, but we will be focusing on this one today. It is really good when it comes to handling a lot of data. So I think if this is the case and that is what you're looking for, I'm going to help you customize it to your likings as well. Like I said already, app itself is completely free, but this section does come with a one-time charge of $9. It means if you bought it once, you will own it forever. You're not going to need an expensive developer or whatsoever. And I think at the end of the day, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and money. So yeah, after successfully getting the section, head back to the My Sections area of the app. We have to add it to the theme you're using. That's the final step before you can actually start. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. I've already added it. And then you simply want to click on Customize In. Sorry for that. You simply want to click on Customize In and open up the theme editor, which will be the last step before you can actually start rolling. So yeah, here we are. Open it up in the theme editor. I've already opened up the theme editor. So this is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. Just going to get rid of that and add it completely new so we can start again from scratch so you can see how it's going to look with the default version so this is what you're going to get so right here you see this block that's the first thing i want to focus myself on and here you can see those little item blocks i'm going to explain you how those work so if you click on an item block itself you can see the row heading it's the energy duration and then those few come up so this first item block is representing the first row of that. I'll just do some little changes to that. So if I would type in 10 hours, you can see 10 hours right here. Instead of energy duration, I do energy time. So here you can see, and if I do the last one, it's gonna be two to eight hours. You can see that one is getting affected. And if I just pick like the fifth one right here, you can see addictive, we can do Yes, and here on the fourth column, we can do no. So this is how it works. And now how you can customize the whole thing itself is if you click on the main block, so here you can see the body gap. So if I make that a bit smaller, you can see that one is getting smaller. Here you can see the left block, the focus portion of all so and blah, blah, blah. It's just a random text at the end of the day. You wanna customize it with your text. Also, you can just get completely rid of that and it would disappear. Same goes with the other text, but we will keep it for this example. So yeah, as you can see, this is customizable. All the sizes and everything is customizable too. And here we have that little button as well. We can also decide if it's going to be aligned left or in the middle. I want to have it left. So it does align with the rest of the content quite well. We have here the active column. So here you can decide which one is getting to get represented as green or whatever you decided as an active color. We will come back to that in a second. You can even chuck in a little icon right here and here you can see all the headings. So if I change to that, mind booster choose, this one is getting affected. So all those ones right here is presenting this row. So yeah, if you get that and there you can also change the heading sizes and whatsoever. So this is gonna get a bit bigger or whatever you prefer actually. You can do it left aligned. So I'm just gonna play around a little bit right here. But yeah, at the end of the day, you can just decide what you want it to look like. I can also do the active color in orange and same with that. Maybe I wanna have it in blue, whatever I prefer actually. You can just tweak around a little bit and fully customize it to your likings and of course your brand. And yeah, that was pretty much that. I'm gonna save it up. I just gave you a brief overview of what you can do with that section. And yeah, hope you guys found it useful. And if there are any more questions, always feel free to reach out to me in the YouTube comment section. And if you have own ideas about sections we should build, like drop them as always. And yeah, that's that. Hope you guys found it useful. And yeah, with that being said, have a good one and peace out.